Hi Community Servicers. So we've done a lot of really cool things for the town of Pauling so far and today is no different. So today we're going to do a grow love to show love project. So this project might take you a little longer because it's going to take a long time for the seeds to grow. So today we're making our own planters and planting our own flowers in these little flower pots so that we can eventually give the flower to somebody that we care about. So let's get started. You should have gotten your bag from the library. It looks like this, but in case you didn't, to do this project, you'll need a tiny flower pot or whatever size flower pot you want. I gave you a little bit of extra material, so if you have other um, flower pots at home that you want to decorate and plant flowers in, you can. Some dirt. If you need more dirt, you can probably get some from outside, or you can buy some from your local um, home center um, business. Some seeds. You may have different kinds of seeds than me, but everybody got some seeds. All different colors of paint. A little brush. And some instructions if you're not watching this video. So you're going to take your flower pot. And the first thing we're going to do is paint our flower pot. Now, I know that painting is a little bit messy, so you want to make sure that you have on um, older clothes that if you get some paint on, your parents aren't going to mind. And you want to make sure that you have paper or something down on your table, because if you get paint on the table, you want to be able to clean it up and um, not stain any of the furniture. So once you've done that, you can take this time to paint your flower pot whatever color you want. You can put designs on it, you can put polka dots or stripes or hearts or whatever, or you can just paint it one color. Um, it's important though between coats, like if you decide to paint your entire flower pot blue and then you want to paint like a red heart on it, you need to make sure that the flower pot dries in between um, your base coat and then your shapes because otherwise it's just going to all blend together and be kind of messy. Um, so let's get started with that. Bit from me to you is sometimes that paints like these can start to peel after a while off of your flower pot, but if you add a drop or two of dish soap and mix it in with your paint, it should prevent any peeling. Let's continue. It's been about an hour. That's where my thumb was, so I need to repaint that. Um, you can add more to your pot. I'm going to keep going with this video and show you how to do the planting and everything, um, just because for time's sake, but I want you to be as decorative with your pot as possible. You put little hearts, put smiley faces, put stars, draw your favorite character, whatever you want, and make it as colorful as you want. So from here, you have your dirt or soil where the plant will get some of its nutrients and your seeds. And you're going to take the dirt and you can either stick your pot into the bag and kind of use like a, a scooping method. Fill it most of the way up, like this. Then you're going to plant your seeds. So I put a couple in because I want to plant more. Um, you, you kind of bury them a little bit. You make them a little pocket and you push down on the soil so that they're in there. You put some more soil on top so they're nicely covered. And then 
you're going to um, you're gonna water it and put it into some sunlight so that it can it can grow and hopefully it'll grow into a lovely plant that you can then give to someone else or share with somebody that you love um, uh, just some logistics the bottom has a little sticker on most of them you can peel that off um, and you also before you water your plant you want to put it on some sort of saucer or um, cup that can catch the extra water because there's a hole in the bottom of this pot to drain out extra water because you don't want to overwater your plant because it'll drown so you want to make sure that there's like something that it's resting on um, so that when you water it, especially if you're leaving it inside, that um, it doesn't flood or like get water everywhere. So make sure that you put something underneath this. If you want and you've used a lot of your paint, you can actually multi-purpose these, rinse them out, and you can like rest your little, um, your little pot in the cup or use the top as one of the little saucers and you can flip it over and put your, your uh, little pot in there to catch the water. So I hope that all of your flowers grow into beautiful, beautiful plants and I can't wait to hear all about them. And I hope that you grow love and show love with this project and you carry it on to brighten the days of some of the people in Pauling and beyond. Um, so it was great uh, being with you again today and I can't wait to show you next week's project. Have a great week, bye.